All right, guys, so here it comes. This is the chicken rice challenge here in Thailand. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. Wow. Everybody, I am in the beautiful streets of Thailand today. I just got a coffee and completely chugged this in like five seconds. But I'm walking to my challenge today and I want to show you some of the very cool things I'm seeing along the streets. There's so much random stuff and I'm so sad I can't eat it right now because I have to do a challenge first. Maybe I'll try it after, but I see so much random stuff. Let me show you. This bakery looks so good. I'm a very big lover of pastries and all these look so interesting. Look at all this. Wow, I, I think that one looks really, really cool. Looks like some kind of like coconut pastry with filling inside. And there's like desserts here as well. And whatever that is got my attention because I love like little moon cakes like this. Oh, actually it has English. Mung bean Chinese pastries. I love stuff like these. This is on the way back to my hotel. So I might pick these up. Oh my God, winter melon, sesame, and fat pork Chinese pastries. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, these these massive moon cakes. Dude, I am definitely getting some of these because I am so addicted to this kind of pastry. So we're going to stop by here when we get back, but let's walk towards my challenge. Oh, and they got cute cakes too. We got to go up this bridge and then cross the streets. It's very busy. It's like 7 a.m. right now and it's already like really like busy, busy. There is so much street food here and these look incredible. They got like sausages here and some fruits. Like I said, I just can't eat right now, but I am so gonna make a video on just eating street food for 24 hours because this is so cool. There's just so much food and it smells so good. And they have like a lot of just stuff on the streets you can buy too. And look at that. Ooh, some crackers here, some sandwiches. Those look good. Those are packed. Wow, look at those eggs. What is this? It looks like some sort of like pancake roll for the morning. I see a lot of these. A lot of these like rice plates. Snacks over here. Oh my god, there is just endless. Oh my god, more pastries. I love these so much. And more drinks. The street food here is just so endless. So sad, honestly. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. But it's a good day. It's a good day. I'm making myself very hungry for my challenge. So I want to be taking on this like 3 kg chicken rice plate at this uh, uh, at this place and it's it's like very clean too it's just rice and like Hainanese chicken kind of oh look at those those are so cute look at those little little cars I want to ride one of them I wonder how I can access one of them that actually looks so fun to ride okay so we're gonna do that we're definitely gonna do that sometime in Thailand but there's so much to do I just landed yesterday and I haven't gone out much because I've been jet lagged so I'm really excited to explore this country. There is so much street food. I'm in heaven. Wow. Guys, this is just endless. This is as I'm walking to the... Oh my god, what is this? Is that meat? I don't know what that is, but... Oh, fresh fruits. These actually look really fresh. Pastries. Oh, and I see a lot of these. I see a lot of like little red, uh, little temples everywhere. It's so cute. Just so many vendors everywhere. It's so cool. This is like more street vendors than Taiwan. It's pretty awesome. I thought Taiwan had a lot. And this is more than Vietnam too. The vibe though is very similar to Vietnam just because they're like uh, neighboring countries. Uh, but I prefer I prefer Thai food because Thai food has a lot of spice and they deep fry stuff. The one thing I didn't like about Vietnam is I didn't find much um, deep fried food. And I am, I have a huge guilty pleasure for fried stuff. So I'm very excited, very excited to eat all the food here in Thailand. All right guys, we made it. This is the Sri Lam Pochana chicken rice vendor. And they have a massive chicken rice plate challenge. I'm so excited. So right on the wall, you will see that they like uh, feature this challenge. It's this massive plate. And it costs you $6.50, which is around like $16 if you feel. But if you're able to finish this within an hour, you get the meal free. That's this cool. is the challenge being made right now. This is two kg of rice over here. Now she's gonna prepare the chicken, which is gonna be one kg. She's getting the chicken right now. Looks very healthy. It's just like boiled chicken and stuff. But I think that rice is also infused with like chicken broth too. So it's like flavored rice. And 
you know, I love this about Asia. She weighs out everything, so we know that's exactly one kg. Awesome. Guys, now she's cutting up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Awesome. That meat looks so tender. I'm so excited. It's just chicken and rice. I love it. It's so healthy. One of the healthiest food challenges I'm ever going to do. Final pieces of chicken going right on top. There it is. Chicken rice challenge here in Thailand. Now for the final touches, she's garnishing the plate with some sliced cucumbers. Got to get my healthy vegetables in, of course. All right. Oh, and what is that? Oh, that's blood. Oh no, that's gonna be difficult. I didn't know it came with blood, but you know what? It is what it is. All right guys, so here it comes. This is the chicken rice challenge here in Thailand. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. Wow. I got some good news. So the owner just told me, you don't have to finish the cucumbers and the blood. You just have to eat the chicken and rice. It also comes with some sauce and a broth that I can pair it with, but I am so ready to eat. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be going for my first win here in Thailand at Sri Lanka, China with this massive uh, three kg rice plate. Two kg of rice, one kg of meat. They're gonna keep the time on. All right, I cannot wait. Let me just make sure, you ready? It's okay? Okay, all right, here we go, let's eat. Oh, you actually can go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm usually not a sauce person, but this, this sauce is good. Fizzle that on top.
the side so it doesn't distract.
was delicious but yeah I was definitely afraid of bugs there's just the cockroach trolling over there it's okay I focused on it and we finished it in 15 minutes hey guys so I had a lot of fun there despite the cockroach incident I'm I think they just didn't see it so they wouldn't just let it chill on the table the entire time they were busy um, but the food is very delicious I'm just I'm just really scared of bugs but it's okay we got through it. I got my first win in Bangkok, you guys. That was so delicious. I'm so happy and I'm full now. Now I don't want the street food. 
I want to try the street food, but I'm way too full now. Got a full belly. But uh, stay tuned, you guys. There's going to be plenty of more videos coming out from Thailand. So make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm in Thailand. Of course, durian is not allowed at the hotel. No durian. I'm in Thailand. $10 USD will buy you a lot of food. I like to eat, 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 eat. because there's food everywhere. I'm in Thailand. Of course I have jet lag. That's why it's 4 a.m. and I'm looking for food. That's why we love 7-Eleven. Plus all the meals here, they're all like one dollar. I love it. I'm in Thailand. Don't even ask. The food's gonna be spicy. I'm in Thailand. Be prepared to swim because it's always going to be hot here. <laughs> I'm in Thailand. Of course you're going to see beautiful shrines everywhere. Buy ice cream. They put it in a bag so it case stays cool since it's always hot outside. And I got this strawberry Kit Kat that looks so good. I am literally obsessed with all things strawberry. Mm. Mmm. Never had a, a strawberry Kit Kat ice cream bar before. Mm. How come we don't give ice cream like this? Because I'm not, I didn't eat it right away. Like I had to walk back to the hotel to enjoy it. So keeping it in the bag to prevent it from melting is absolutely genius. I love Thailand. <laughs> As if I don't have enough strawberry things.